What's going on guys, Crypto Corey here, back with another simple video. Today's gonna be a simple video. I just got four projects for you. No, this project's insane. This project will do this, this project will do that. No, just four cool NFT projects for you that I think you might wanna look at. Maybe you might not wanna look at them, but they're just one you may wanna have on your radar because some of them look like they have potential to do pretty, pretty well. And honestly, bro, let's, let's just get right into the video, okay? First project I got for you was called Meta Pizza. They got no duck shot auction, not a 10K collection, not a PFP. Pop up pizza shops with Web3 integration grinding the holders free pizza. Oh my goodness, that's like that's like the best bio I've ever read in all of NFT history, man. You talk about free pizza, no duck shot auction, not a 10K collection. What more do you want, man? So it's a 22, they have 22K followings and are followed by Sean. Nice. And we look at their website, we can see it looks pretty decent, looks nice. Their vision is to change the way the world thinks about food, which is pretty, pretty cool. We can see you can't, hey, if you want a job, Meta Pizza is hiring, yo. Meta Pizza is hiring. They do not have their team right here. Okay, so the first phase is building, pre mint, mint phase, and then the first pop up shop. No later than three weeks. Our mint date is when we plan to open up our first pop up shop. It's going to be a place where our members can network with like minded individuals and enjoy our free pizza. That's sick. That's sick, man. That's honestly so cool. Now, they do have a doodles club, which is pretty cool. I like to see that. And their art actually looks pretty nice. My only problem is I wish they didn't have like. This is pretty cool right here. I I wish they didn't just have that one stance, like the, the little T pose stance they have like this. I wish there was more stances, but it's pizza. What more do you want, man? It's that nice pizza. And one problem I may have with this project is their mint is 0.11, which is kind of, I guess you could say kind of expensive for these new mints, but hey, they need that money to you know obviously fund their project fund their, you know their team fund their pop-up shops fund their pizza like it's just so many things you have to take into account in accounting when you're looking at this project and you know obviously there's a lot of things they have to focus on but if they can pull it off i could see this project doing really really well because you know a lot of what not even a lot of wills but a lot of hype is going to go around to this project because it's like the first project that ever has like a free food involved in their nft so definitely keep an eye out for this project because honestly this one has potential i'll tell you that right now it has potential and the discord's open man hop in there get yourself some pizza yeah Next project you have is called Glitches. It's a 5555 unique animated characters that have escaped the multiverse to come to the metaverse. They have almost 10k followers, followed by people like D Das Fruit, Me NFT, and Bento Boy. And you can see that, you know, their art looks pretty, pretty cool. Nothing insane. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> And the art looks pretty, pretty cool. It looks nice. It doesn't look like insane in the membrane. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's nice. It's just chill art. It's chill art. Nothing crazy. Your Discord is coming soon. Coming soon, their Discord. And hey, it looks nice, man. There's nothing else really going on about this project. It's just one that you're going to want to follow just to see like how it's going to do. You know, could do well, could not do well. Just follow it. It doesn't hurt, you know? Third part of is called Beats. This is bringing our culture to the Web3, the web which is pretty cool. They almost have 3.7K followers and are followed by Champ, which is pretty cool to see. And their art looks nice. This is a pretty hard picture. And they kind of have that, that heart-shaped head type of vibe to it, which is pretty cool. I do like that. And honestly, I get a lot of good vibes from this art. It looks very, very nice. Nothing big about this project yet, just a simple Twitter page with some simple pictures, but it looks pretty nice, man. I'm definitely, definitely going to look out for this project because it looks like it has potential to do well. Yeah, okay. Next project I got for you is called Code 47. This is a 777 3D animated robot searching in the metaverse. They've almost got 6k followers and they're followed by NFT Pasta. Now, I did see them drop a sneak peek like a couple of days ago and it looked nice. It had like the walking, the animated walking, the art was nice, it had like some nice traits on it. It looked super dope. What happened? Why would they take it down? I hope they didn't give up because the art looked super nice, man. I'd be so disappointed if this project just doesn't like release because 
it looked like it had potential to do well so i obviously wanted to bring this to your attention because it's still super super early and it'd be sad if these guys like just stop with their project it'd be sad now this is all i really got for you for the four projects i hope you like them nothing insane just some four projects i thought i'd bring to you on this beautiful day so now we're gonna look at my favorite thing market analytics so we have bitcoin 37,000, Ethereum 2,700, like, bro, do something, man, do something, bro, come on, it's so boring watching this, man, it's, it's gonna be a long summer, I'll tell you that right now, it's gonna be super, super long, super boring, enough of that, we don't look at the crypto market, it hurts my eyes, we wanna look at do analytics, I'm telling you right now, we're having a little bit of a steady downtrend because all this liquidity being waited until we saw the day where they dropped the other side nft and honestly i don't think it reached my expectations definitely didn't reach other people's expectations it looked pretty pretty you know what i'm gonna say i don't know what i'm gonna say but it looked pretty poopy it didn't look like what i expected it to do it definitely does not look like what anyone expected it to do but hey we saw it do some some pretty cool things if we do look at on open so we can see they have 17,000 volume traded and they are sitting at a 7 ETH floor price, which is honestly sad. It's literally dumping right now. Like people are panic selling it because a lot of people paid like over 2 ETH for gas. A lot of people had enough ape coin in their KYC wallets to mint, but gas was so high they didn't have enough Ethereum to mint. And honestly, right, like, like, this wasn't a good flip for most people because some people paid like two to four Ethereum for gas. Maybe they flipped at eight Ethereum. I did see at eight Ethereum. Literally three minutes ago, this was sitting at eight Ethereum and now it's just going down, which is sad to see. People are scared and people are not scared, so they're buying some. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I don't even know what to tell you. Keep your eye out for this if you want to. 70k items. Like, what do you expect? You can't get an over 10 ETH floor price with a 70k item collection, man. But that's all I really got for you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Like all, literally every single project looks the same as yesterday because nobody was focused on flipping NFTs yesterday. If you managed to get a profitable flip yesterday, you're a cool man. You're a cool guy, girl, whatever, man. You're a cool person. That's all I got for you, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good day, good night, and goodbye.